drop of any kind. They seem they're tripping. And I get calls. Of course, I've, I've showed them how to reset them. This one's been reset about three or four times. And now you go to, you know, you're, you've got this, you know, you've got this test and then reset button on there. You know, there's your test button. There's your recess. Well, this plug's dead, so you push, it won't reset. So the first thing you think of, well, I've got, I've got no juice to my plug. Well, that's not the case. The case being is the plug might be bad. So before you call an electrician, you know, if you know how to change plugs and whatnot, before you call an electrician, there's just, you know, a couple things you can do on your own. And the one thing that just gets you some kind of a AC tester and it doesn't matter which side if you're on the black or white side on either one as long as one's on one the other's on the other you come in here to your you can see your screws of course we don't know which side is the load and which side is the line so what we're going to do we're just going to test both of them we'll do the the one below and then the one on top all right so i'm having i'm going to have a hard time showing you this. I just can't get this. I'm going to have to pull this switch out of this plug out of there. One thing you want to remember, whether a plug is dead or not, always consider it to be live. Just like a pistol. Never assume it's not working. Alright. I'm going to take my tester. I think you can see the light is, is on, which means we've got electricity to the plug. Hoping you can see that. Which means this plug's no good, but we do have juice. So that ought to tell you something right there. Always be careful. Okay, yeah, we we'll see we have the black wire. And it's it's hooked up. The plug is hooked up right. They got the the neutral going to the silver screw. They got the black wire going to the brass screw. And then of course the ground to the ground. Well just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go turn the power off. I'd rather be safe than sitting here complaining. Okay power is off but I'm still gonna check it I don't assume anything in electricity cuz okay I don't know if you can see it or not but we're definitely dead so we're gonna go ahead and change this plug out get this thing out of here and get a new one in there before it gets dark okay up here at the top it says line Okay, that's where your black and your white, or I should say, your hot wire and your neutral go. Your ground goes in the back. It's always where the green screw is. Down here on the bottom, it says load. Well, this, after you hook up your, your line, if you're going to another plug or to somewhere else that you want to be protected in case there's ever... A but anyway, okay, the line is what you want to hook it up. This is your hot wire coming in. You want to make sure that when you disconnect this stuff, you know exactly what you're disconnecting and connecting. Don't get them confused. Always mark them with tape or something. If you hook your line, your hot wire and your neutral up to the one that says load, the plug will not work, period. So you got to make sure you hook it up the right way. Okay, here's the, here's the warning sticker, and it says, attention, the load terminals under this label, labels are for feeding additional receptacles. Miswiring can leave this outlet without ground fault protection. Read the instructions prior to wiring very important 
evidently some of these plugs will work if you hook them up backwards and the only problem is you won't have your ground fault protection. We're going to hook this one up backwards just to see what happens. So we've taken our our warning label off, attention label, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to hook up to the load side. Okay, I have now this thing up to the load side. This is the line side. This is where it's supposed to go. All right, we're going to go turn the power on and see what we got. Okay, we got the power on. Now let's try our tester. We gotta reset the ground fault. Well, won't even reset. So that pretty much tells you right there that it's not gonna work. So we need to go turn the power back off and uh, turn this thing around. So now you know. It won't reset. Make sure our power is off. Don't ever assume anything with power, with electricity. <laughs> 